All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kodash. The Bible the Apostle is a great Muslim for teaching us from sin and truth according to the Bible well and peace and blessings so the life of the nation of Israel. You know, today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, we get to the Lord's willing, Lord's willing to find a lesson titled uh, Rebuke. Is part of the truth, you know. Yahweh by Shema you know, uh, you know, has you know set up, you know, to where well, I'm with the definition of rebuke, uh, first and foremost, you know, so brothers can have an understanding what this word means. <clears throat> the definition of rebuke is as express sharp disapproval. Our criticisms of someone because of their behavior are actions. You see, so we're expressing sharp, you know, sharp meaning to the point, disapproval, pointing out what uh, actions are being done that are disapproved of. You know, these things are not, you know, acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai for the believers to be doing. You see, Rebuke, express sharp disapproval or criticism. So you're criticizing, you know, a brother or, you know, a believer, you know, whether it be a brother or a sister, you know, it says, <clears throat> criticize criticism of someone because of their behavior or action. So look, you're criticizing them, you know, you're getting on them. Because of their behaviors that they're doing, other actions, you know, this is what Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, has ultimately commanded us to do. You know, this is a uh, Leviticus nineteen and seventeen. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. So if you see, you know, a brother or a sister. You know, a believer of Yahweh by Shema Shai committing sin, you know, that's why we ultimately, you know, that's why us with the knowledge, you know, according to Isaiah 58 and 1, we cry aloud, spare not, lift up our voices like trumpets and show our people their transgressions in the house of Jacob with their sins because we see our people going off. But even when you uh, come into the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you will uh, be rebuked as part of the walk. You know, when a brother rebukes you, you know, it's out of love, you know, ultimately, you know, this is a Proverbs 27 and 5, open rebuke is better than secret love. So to openly rebuke, you know, an individual, you know, telling them wh where they're going off at, where they're sinning, you know, that is, a uh, you know, very, uh, that, that, that is showing great love in the eyes, you know, uh, towards your brother, towards one another. This is a uh, Saint John, fourteen and twenty seven. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world give. Give I unto you. So the Lord has left us with His peace. You know, which is ultimately, you know, this knowledge. You know, this knowledge teaches us to rebuke of one another. You know, where the, the world teaches you what? You know, to let bygones be got, bygones, you know, live and uh, uh, live and let live, you know, you know, let, let, let them live, you know, let, let them live, you know, let them do whatever they feel is right. But when we see an individual going off, you know, according to the Holy Scriptures, we are going to rebuke them. This is Second Timothy 3 and 16, all scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High. So these words that we are speaking, you know, out of the Bible, words, you know, holy men wrote these scriptures down. They were inspired by the Most High. So these are the, the this is the, let's get the inspiration, uh, uh, creativity, stimulus, a uh, 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 motivating force, you know, so the motivating force, <laughs> To write down these words but was by the Most High, <laughs> you see, and it's profitable. Let's get this definition of profitable because I wanted to get this definition. It says beneficial and it's profitable or beneficial for doctrine, you know, which is teaching 
for reproof, which is, you know, you being reproved or rebuked for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So these scriptures, what we are being taught are the instructions of righteousness, you know, how to uh, enact righteousness down here upon the earth, you know, and we need that correction, you know, so that we can, uh, you know, because we we're going off, we have sinned against the Lord, you know, or we sin against the Lord, that's when a brother uh, will rebuke you, you know, so you're, that sin, so he doesn't suffer sin to, to come upon you, you know, what will he rebuke you? Will he rebuke you with the scripture, show you where you're going off at, you know, and give you the instructions on what you should should do in certain situations, how he should handle certain situations, you know, or what you shouldn't be doing and what you should be doing. You know, the scriptures say all things that are lawful are not expedient. Neither is all things good for all men. You know, for example, you know, it's lawful to drink, but one brother might not be able to hold his liquor, you know, and, you know, that may cause him to be, uh, you know, impaired in judgment, make make uh, bad decisions, may over drink. You know, a brother may rebuke that character flaw in him so he can get right, you know, so he can do better. That's just one example. This is Sirach 20 and 5. <coughs> I'm sorry, Sirach chapter 20. Uh, um, <coughs> I'll go straight to the point, verse 3. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? So when you're reproved, when you're rebuked, when you're corrected, and you're shown the instructions of what to do that is right, how good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? You make that a necessary change that Yahweh Shema Shah requires of us, you know, to do that which is right. You know, how good is it? It's a very good thing. You know, when we are uh, reproved, rebuked, you know, when we're being chastised by the Heavenly Father, you know, to, to show that repentance. Real quick, this is a Hebrews Chapter 12 um, <clears throat> and 11. Now, no chastening for the present time seems to be joyous, you know, because when you're being chastised, you know, when you're being rebuked, you're being chastised. You know, the, the, the Most High is chastising you with His Word. You know, and the Word of the Most High is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. So when you get rebuked, you know, and the brother is correct, you're going to get cut. You know, you might get in your uh, feelings. You know, you might feel low. You know, now no chastising for the present time seems to be joyous, but grievous. Never the word after it yieldeth. Never, nevertheless, after, after that chastisement, the yield, you know, the lesson that will be learned, you know, because you will learn if you show that repentance, you that it it will yield the peaceful fruit of righteousness unto them that are exercised thereby. You know, so those that are exercised in chastisement, you know, most high, you know, may chastise you via rebuke, via you catching, you know, a level of hell, something not going your way. But what you gotta understand, you know. Brothers got to realize when they're being rebuked by the Heavenly Father as well, because the Lord will rebuke you, you know. The Lord will come to you first and, and show you where, where you're doing. Uh, oh, scripture said, a wise man knoweth where he slippeth, right? This is uh, Job 33 and 14. For the Most High speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceive it not. So we got to be able, us with the knowledge, you know, those who have been given the wisdom of discernment, have to be able to discern, you know, when the Most High is speaking to us, when there's a character flaw. You know, here it is, you know, before a brother will get on you directly, the Lord might have you watch a video, you know, watch a video on brothers don't need to be doing this. You know, brothers need to be examining themselves more. And that's the Most High speaking to you, you know, and you could avoid the rebuke altogether, you know, and that is a form of the Lord chastising you. And rebuking you, you know, and when you uh, realize that, you know, it may not be a uh, joyous, but at the end, you should you should rejoice because the most high what this is. um. 
This is a Revelation chapter 3, um, verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. You see, so as many as the Most High is loves, you know, he's going to rebuke and chastise. You see, and be zealous, therefore, and repent. Be zealous, you know, be be zealous for the law of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Have that zeal, be on fire, you know, for Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That fervent heat, you know, that that fervency toward about about yourself in this walk. You see, therefore, and repent, you know, and repent. Turn back sorrowfully to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You know, correct your way and uh, keep moving forward. You know, real quick. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter 24 and um, verse 16. For a just man, a righteous man, a man after Yahweh by Shemel Shai's heart, for a just man follows seven times. Seven represents completion, a complete number of times, and rises up again. He's going to rise up again. He's going to keep fighting. You know, he's going to uh, examine himself. He's going to make those proper uh, character traits. You know, he's going to make those proper uh, corrections to the character traits, you know, to his character. And, uh, you know, he's going to keep moving forward. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. But the wicked, you know, they're not going to take heed uh, to the counsel of Yahweh by Shema Shai. They're not going to, uh, they're not going to appreciate the rebuke. Proverbs 15 and 10, correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. So those who are corrected, those that have forsaken the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, when that rebuke comes, is going to grieve you. You know, and he that hated for proof shall die. And you hate the reproof of Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to lead to your death. You see, so we cannot hate the reproof of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We cannot despise the reproof of our Lord. You know, we, uh, you know, the Most High speak of one shade twice. The Most High speaks through his men as well. You know, brothers got to realize that, you know. Talking to myself first and foremost since I'm the one doing this lesson. This is uh, Proverbs 9 and, and 8. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. You know, because a wise man understands that this is a straight and narrow path, you know, and it's so narrow, you know, there's danger all around us. You know, it tells you in the second Ezra 7 chapter, as if there was a deep water on one hand and fire on another, you know, a path so narrow. You know what, you, you, you know, you got to be careful in this walk. You know, you're uh, one false move, you know, hey, you know. It's through the mercy of Yahweh by Shema Shah that we are not consumed, you know. So we got to continue to hope in the Lord's mercy. It says, rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man. You see, oh, you should have handled this situation like this. Oh, you shouldn't be doing this anymore. You know, you should be, uh, you should be walking in, in this manner. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser because he's going to hear those instructions and he's going to apply those instructions to his life. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. You see? So that's what it's all about. This is uh, finishing it out, closing out in, uh, back in Sirach 20 and 3. Oh, how good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance for so shalt thou escape willful sins. That's what it's about, escaping, you know, sin, you know. For the wages of sin is death, you know. And we got to fight the good fight of faith, you know, and resist, you know, resist these temptations, you know. But, hey, sometimes you fall into those temptations, and that that's why you got the brother uh, to be there to lift you up. You know, that's what it tells you, what, in Ecclesiastes, you know, two is better than one. For if he fall, you know, one shall lift him up. You see? So that's what it's all about. You know, rebuke is part of the truth. You know, Lord's willing, this lesson is edifying. With that, I'm going to say, shalom.